So today we have released our World Intellectual Property Report for 2017. It's a flagship report that we release every two years uh, with a different theme. This year's theme is on intangible capital in global value chains. So why are we studying this? Uh, well, because the face of production has changed, of course, across the world and in uh, the course of the last 20, 30 years uh, in particular. Uh, and what we see is that technology in particular, but more generally intangible capital, has had an extremely influential role in the transformation that has occurred in global production. What do we mean by intangible capitals? Well, it's all those non-material inputs to the production process, such as research and development, design, know-how, brands, marketing. Uh, all of this, we have estimated uh, its influence in global production. And of course, the other thing that we've seen as a result of uh, open markets uh, as well as the influence of technology and intangible capital uh, is the construction of global value chains. So any particular good or service may be constructed uh, or produced across a range of countries each of which is contributing a different element to the final product that reaches uh, the consumer. Uh, what we have found is that this in general has been of course an extremely, and this was well known, extremely important uh, process, the global value chains, because it's reduced the price or the cost to consumers. It's also integrated developing countries into the world economy. Our report is the first, I think, estimate of the value of intangible capital in those global value chains, and that value is roughly one-third, it's about 30.4% uh, of uh, total world production, uh, and that 30.4% is the equivalent of 5.9 trillion United States dollars. So intangible capital has an extraordinary contribution that is being made, and we trace that in a number of case studies, one of which is concerned with smartphones, another of which is concerned uh, with coffee, uh, and we see I exactly how the intangible capital is working in those circumstances. To take just one example, in the case of the smartphone, the cost of uh, the iPhone 7 of uh, marketed by Apple is about 809 United States dollars. 42% of that value comes back to Apple uh, as intangible capital. So this is a very important phenomenon uh, that policymakers around the world really ought to pay attention to uh, because intangible capital is a major entry point to global value chains and it is a major component of the final value of the product or service.